Hey everyone, welcome to our daily meditation for Thursday the 16th of April. What is the most precious commodity on earth? Answers to this question are usually quite diverse and sometimes downright creative. In researching for today's meditation, I've heard people say the usual things like gold, platinum, diamonds and the like. On the less material side, I've read people in information technology saying that data is the most valuable commodity. And I've even come across a couple of would-be philosophers saying that time itself is the most precious thing we have. I wonder what sprang into your mind at that question. Well, today I'd like to put forward a different answer. One drawn from the words of the Apostle Paul in Philippians in chapter 4. Here's what he says in verse 11. For I have learned in whatever situation I am to be content. My contention today is that for Christians, outside of Christ himself, the virtue of Christian contentment is the most precious of things to our souls. The English Puritan preacher Jeremiah Burroughs put it this way. To be well skilled in the mystery of Christian contentment is the duty, glory and excellence of a Christian. Essentially, Christian contentment is so valuable because it steals us against so many of the temptations we face. It does so not because it denies the reality of our needs, whatever they may be, but because it helps us see the world as it really is, under the ultimate sovereign control of a God who loves us as his children and has our ultimate good in mind. So, how do we ascend to the lofty peak of Christian contentment and not wallow in the valley of grumbling discontent? How is our perspective so transformed that we receive a gracious heart in and not merely despite our present circumstances? Well, to paraphrase Jeremiah Burroughs again, the mystery of contentment is gained by drawing strength from Jesus Christ. In other words, we're enabled to bear our burdens because we receive strength from Jesus himself, who is always ready to aid his people. This is only what Christ expects. That when we are under any burden or affliction, we should act in faith to draw virtue and strength from him who alone can supply all our needs according to his glorious riches. So as we face another day of restrictions together, let's use the refrain, I have learned in whatever situation I am, coronavirus or not, to be content. Amen.